So what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to convert USDM taillights into Japanese taillights for a 3 and ZX. Though this is an easy mod to do, it does take some time, it does take a lot of patience, it is very easy to mess up, so if this is your only set of tails, please take your time. So, let's begin. So for your first step, really quick, there is a small Phillips head right in the middle of the taillight, right here. I would say remove that really quick, because that helps hold the lens in, and you'll probably end up forgetting about it and get frustrated later on. So the next part is, I'd say the worst part, it is pulling the lens from the taillight itself. It is held in by some really, really nasty silicone. So what we have to do is we have to heat up the edges to heat up the silicone to allow us to pull the lens off. So there are a few tabs that help lock it in place. One in the top right corner of each side. Then there are three along the bottom, one there, one in the middle and then one on the other edge. So when we finally apply heat to the outside of the lens, we have to make sure the tabs are pushed out of the way first or else the lens will not come out. So now that the lens is removed, I have to remove this retainer trim piece right here. This one's really easy. You just gotta heat it up a little bit and it pulls right out. You just gotta be careful in the back. If you can see it, there's a little tab here in the middle and on the other side. That's holding it in, so make sure you push those in when trying to pull out the clip. So the trim is out and now it's just the reflectors, so it is time to remove the orange piece we do not want. So the orange then by of course more silicone, so a little bit of heat and this should pull right out. So on to the next step. In the garage we go. Right here, I have my diffuser panel, commonly used for those lights. <laughs> I would suggest working with the smooth side up and then the graded side down. So what we have to do is we have to cut this in the shape of this. Easier said than done. So when it comes to this diffuser panel stuff, I don't really know the best way to cut it. It is so brittle. If you look at it wrong, it will crack. So I've tried many, many different ways of cutting this. What I've been doing to cut it is a little weird, a little sketchy, and probably not the best way to do it, but it works. So I have mine all traced out, and make sure before you cut yours, the rigid side of the diffuser is facing outward on the taillight. So what I do is I get a razor blade, get it red hot with my torch, and it just slices through this really, really nice. I haven't found a better way to do it yet. Whatever, it works. So if you cut this correctly, it should fit right in it. What we gotta do is just warm up the silicone a little bit on each point, and if it fits right, this should stick right in there. The new diffuser piece is in, it is time to put the trim clip back in. So the retainer clip should just stick right into our taillight at this point. Just make sure you warm up the silicone a little bit so it stays in there. Really 
So the next part is really annoying for people who are OCD like I am, and that is putting in the pinstriping you see here on this lens. So in real Japanese taillights, the spacing between the lines is even, so you gotta you want to keep that gap as even as possible. So that line is a sixteenth of an inch thick. So a roll of sixteenth inch pinstriping will do just fine. So in my case, I have a vinyl cutter, so I actually cut myself out pinstripes for it that will lay evenly. So before we throw this on, as you can see on the edges of the lens, some of the paint got scratched off on the inside. Before you throw it on, it'd be a good time to get some black nail polish or a paint marker and just touch up the inside of the lip and it'll clean it up really nice. Make sure the inside of your lens is nice and clean, there's nothing stuck in there. Same with the reflector part, make sure there's no silicone hanging over or anything because once that lens is on, it is on. So the best part is now putting the lens back on the housing. So all you have to do is heat up the silicone on the edges like we did when we took it off and just smush that ledge back on. There it is, that is my how to convert USDM 300ZX taillights to JDM taillights. I hope I gave you guys enough detail to try this on your own. It's not very hard, it just takes a lot of patience. So if you're not that kind of person, I would beware. If any of you guys have questions on the conversion, please let me know, ask in the comments, I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. If you found this very helpful, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Good luck.